Okay, for those of you watching me live on my uh, blog, I'm going to be talking to my camera because I'm just getting started. I've spent most of the morning running around trying to get stuff to uh, uh, finalize this studio setup so I have good lighting on my subject. I have to have two lights, and I only had one light, and it was over here, and it wasn't really stable, so I had to go find some stuff that would uh, make it stable, and I think I have. And so, I figured I'd just go ahead and start videoing for my uh, YouTube and uh, blog video. And I just got these tools today from Sculpture House. Okay, now this is for the uh, people that I'm videoing on my HD camera. Alright, I, I just got some tools uh, from Sculpture House. And uh, I'll have a link to their website. And I'll go through some of these tools and what they're used for. Let's see if I got everything out of here. Looks like, oops, got one more hidden down there. Uh, see anything else down there? So, don't want those little popcorns flying around. So I'm gonna... All right, I just got some new tools from uh, Sculpture House in New York City, and I'll give you. A, I'll put a link on my uh, blog and on my. Uh, uh, description of the video down below uh, where to go and you can buy these tools. Now this one is a wide uh, metal tool tempered steel and it's got a serrated edge on one side for for texturing the clay. This is for a little larger work uh, for larger areas. I've actually got one that's about that big uh, for really uh, monumental sized pieces. Now this is another tool like that except it's well let's go this next size this is the next size down. Um, actually, it's uh, whoop, close to this size, but uh, it's got the serrated edge and the smooth side, um, as well as a round added part of the tool here with a serrated edge on this side and smooth on this side for um, texturing and for smoothing. Um, this is another size. This is a, uh, let's see. This is the third size down. Now, I, I, I don't get a lot of tools. I don't need a lot of tools. This is the next size down, this one here. And it's basically the same thing as this tool. has a round bottom on it and the angled top on it. And it's a thinner wire. It's got the uh, uh, serrated edge on one side and smooth on the other, which is really good. And the same on the uh, round part here. I got several, uh, and then we got one more tool, which is even smaller, and uh, show you that one. Now it's got it's a thinner piece of uh, tempered steel, but it's got a serrated edge on this side and smooth on that side, so you can get different texture uh, thicknesses and, and stuff like that on your finished product. Um, these are great wire tools. Uh, let's see if I can get this up to the camera. Uh, get the hand behind it, not in front of it. You can see it's just a small wire tool, and these are great for uh, just detailing uh, your sculpture. And uh, I got a couple of these. I, these these tend to break when you start working with wax, if you work on it, you know, for too long. I mean, you, know, you have to replace them every once in a while. It's like a painter, a painter, uh, oil painter, uh, will use paint brushes, but they'll the, the bristles will start wearing down and they'll start getting round at the top, and so they have to replace. Them. It's the same thing. And this is a little tinier, tinier wire tool for, uh, you know, tight detail. And uh, that top part there. Now I got some metal tools. I like uh, this one. It's got a, it's sort of rounded. It's not flat. It's got a kind of a round surface to it. I, I don't know if you can see that in the video. But boy, I sure like this type of tool because that's, that's real handy for detail work. And this has got a nice little round end on it uh, so for detail work. That's a great tool. Um, now this is a, a flat top and round bottom. And that works really nice for sculpting too. And uh, these are expensive little tools too. I, I think I was about 130 bucks for all these tools. Um, this, is, this has got a nice tool for texturing too. I don't know if you can see it. 
see if I can get my camera to focus on it. Uh, it's a serrated edge on one edge, and uh, same here. It's, it's serrated on uh, the edge, different size. So that's my tools that I just uh, purchased, and uh, got. I'm going to go to the studio and uh, cut these in half because uh, on my saw, it's just a lot easier. It makes them a lot easier to, to work with. I just need enough for my hand to fit on. I don't need anything below that. All right. Uh, no sculpting today. This is going to be it. Uh, and I'll put uh, a picture of all these tools um, that I got. And uh, But uh, these are great tools. Sculpture House is a great source for them. And you can get Roma clay there, which is a type of clay that I used to use. But it, it it's not a good clay because it develops a surface. I'm going to reset the camera here, guys. Ah! screws here in a second. Okay, I'm going to take some pictures of uh, these tools so you can see what they look like and uh, I'll put them on my blog. If you want to go to my blog I'll give you the link to that and then you can look at the picture a little more detailed. All right, adios everybody.